All right, what's going on, guys? So here I am with the first uh, trades video of what I've got, uh, basically what I'm, stuff I want to get out of my room here. Um, first trades video of the year. So some of the stuff you guys seen before, uh, some of the stuff I didn't put in the video because I know nobody wants it, just sit in a drawer. Video games, and I'll you know eventually if I find somebody who needs one of them, I send them to them or whatever. But um, basically, some of the older things here that I had before, I still put, I have two of those PS2 games, Beautiful Joe, faded with stickers. Took the manual though, and then uh, Metal Gear Solid 2. Um, I've got those Atari games, I've got Warlords, Breakaway 4, Raiders of the Lost Ark, Yards Revenge, and then I've got a second copy of Pressure Cooker now. So uh, I traded my first copy of Pressure Cooker, I found at Goodwill to Thomas3120. So I've got another copy of Pressure Cooker, somebody might want that one there. Um, got two PS1 games, Namco Museum 3, and then Siphon Filter. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and throw up Zelda Spirit Tracks. As you know, I don't really play the DS. I don't really think I'm ever gonna play this game again, um, especially with the 3DS coming out. Um, I only have one DS game, and that's uh, from Natalie, and that's uh, Prince of Persia, MMO. So you know, uh, I would like to trade this game. So, and I already did use the uh, Club Nintendo points, if you're wondering. So. Um, here's a copy of Shenmue. I asked the Gebs24 if she wanted this, but I think she was needing, um, a PAL version for her Dreamcast. So, uh, the Gebs, if you see this video and you do need this, then let me know. But otherwise, uh, this is a copy of Shenmue for the Dreamcast, up for trade. Uh, all these are in pretty good condition. There's a couple of scuffs on them, but they're all playable and, uh, you know, just, it, it's still in good uh, collectors condition. It's got the manuals and stuff, and then it's got the Passport CD in the back, and a couple other uh, manuals and little things. So yeah, that's Shenmue for the Dreamcast. And then here, here's, this. I bought this for my PSP when I first had one. It's called a Pandora Battery, and you see them online from their sites and stuff. I really don't know how much one of these is worth, but if anybody's interested in this, it's basically used to crack your PSP so you can put downloaded games on it. This is something I don't know if I'll ever use again, considering I play PSP games, and PS, most PSP games, to play new games, you have to update your PSP. So if you have a second PSP or something that you just wanted for solely, uh, ROMs and uh, emulators, then this is pretty cool. Comes with a manual there on how to use it. It's pretty simple. And then you do that, and then you can uh, crack your PSP. These go for like, I think they go for like 20 to 30 on their site still, but then again, they might go for a few dollars online. I don't know. Um, what else? If anybody collects Ninja Turtles, I got that Ninja Turtles card thing there by Fleer. Okay, so let's get over here to the uh, PS3 games I've got. I'm going to go ahead and trade Mini Ninjas. And these games are all about any well these two they're about you know 15, 10 15 bucks online uh, going price low low average price and then uh fairy tale fights it's like this sells for like seven to ten bucks even at Best Buy so a couple you know 10 15 an hour PS3 games there I got for trade and I might as well say now um, I primarily only want NES games, you guys probably figure that out. I really only want the NES games I need. So if you guys are interested in any of this stuff, let me know. I'll send you over the NES list I need. Hopefully you can fill that list. If not, I'll gladly, you can gladly tell me the things that you have for trade and I'll see if I need anything. But um, chances are I'm probably only going to be trading stuff for NES games I need or the, uh, or the, maybe the, you know, TurboGrafx-16 or Super Nintendo games I might need, I don't know, so, if you're going to make offers to me, try to make uh, NES offers and just let me know what, uh, what you got, so, here is, uh, well, here's the PSP games I got, I'm going to trade Monster Hunter Unite, I'm not going to play that game anymore, I really liked it, it was fun, but, uh, a great Capcom game, still have time, really not interested, and then I got that sealed Transformers, I tried to give this away, but the person didn't want it. So, uh, I figure if somebody else wants that, you know, maybe, I don't know. But yeah, Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. And here's a, a Genesis game. This is a pretty good Genesis game. And, uh, when I found this, like, two summers ago, it was averaged at about 13 bucks. Now it's up to over 20. 
So uh, this is um, AeroBiz. This is not Supersonic. Supersonic's actually look twice as expensive, but uh, this is a pretty rare Genesis game and really good one. It's by Koi. I believe I said that right. They make all like the uh, Dynasty, Nabudaka's Ambition games and type of stuff for the for the system. So yeah, there's a sticker you can take that off. So yeah, if anybody's interested in that, let me know. And then here. Um, I, you know, I've, it's really hard to say how much this is worth. I want to say anywhere from $30 plus uh, up to its original value, but it's really hard to say. I, I think there's one copy out there on eBay going for like 30 bucks. so, um, you know, it is a sealed Mission Impossible for the Nintendo 64, so if anybody does, I know like the Guno too, I know some of you guys out there collect CIB Nintendo 64 games, but if anybody's interested in a uh, sealed one, let me know, possibly make a deal for a more rare or obscure NES title if you have one. Um, you know, these are a couple, couple of these games I really would really care not to let go, but you know, if, I'm going to put some good stuff up here to trade anyway, so hopefully I can get some good uh, responses back. And then last but not least, I went ahead and picked up a couple more mags. I'm going to, uh, these Zelda collector's special, so um, I asked a friend on here uh, if he had a copy, and then if he doesn't, I'm going to send him out one. And then uh, I would like to trade one, so if anybody does need a copy of this, let me know. And You know, I paid 10 bucks for it, and... So, I, you know, I value it at like 10 to 20, just considering it's a, or 15 to 20, excuse me, considering the availability of it and the rarity of it. So, yeah, so that's what I got for trade now. Um, so if anybody needs any of this stuff, um, like I said, I'd like some NES games. I'm really trying to finish my NES collection, and it's getting hard to find games I need around town anymore, so... In my trade videos, I really want to get the most out of these, so if anybody needs any of these games, let me know, and uh, I'll send you over my NES list, or just let me know what you got, and maybe we'll work something out, so, alright guys, uh, I'll have a link, uh, well, I'm not going to have a link at the bottom, because I'll just have to send you the list myself, I don't really have a link to the list yet, so, I'll just, uh, just send me... Uh, PM saying you want the list, my NES needs list of which ones I need still, and I'll send it over to you. Alright guys, peace.